Okay, so a short time later, let's see what we've got. We build up the uh, colorize up here. Okay, so we've got the um, so we've got the head map that we saw before. Just filling in that little hole there. We've got the right arm hole mat that you saw before as well. Let's put that in there. Taking out that bit of garbage. We've got right arm garbage, which is taking out this area over here. Left arm garbage, taking out that there. Left arm hole, which is taking out that there. T shirts, which is basically filling in the, uh, the semi transparent stuff on the t shirt, of course. Boots, well, I did a, uh, a separate boots track for this, uh, which meant that I was able to roto the boots just with uh, two keyframes. And I decided that in the end, I was just going to roto the entire trouser. Uh, set just all on its own so that when we bring that back in we're not going to have any hassles with uh, with sorting out all of these three garbage masks here I haven't what I haven't done yet is do the the lower arms but uh, we're going to skip out on that just for the moment just so we can get this moving along and uh, now let's export out our shape data so let's just check all of our layers are turned on and visible Apart from the track layers, the track layers are turned off and the Hycon layer is also turned off. Okay, and let's just uh, now come in and export out our shape data. We're going to take out uh, the Mocha shape data for After Effects. We'll do all visible layers. We'll just copy that to the clipboard. Come back into After Effects. Okay, so back in After Effects, this is where we, uh, we left it off. So um, now I want to use that shape data to patch up our icon mat here. So uh, so let's come in and we will call this Mocha Shapes, White Solid that was, and make sure we're at the first keyframe and just paste in all of our shapes. I'm just gonna solo this layer out so we can see what's going on with it. Okay, so we've basically got two different types of, uh, of shape here. I mean, they're, they're the same shape, but they're serving different purposes. We've got shapes that are filling stuff in, like the head and the uh, T-shirt, the boots and the uh, trousers here. And we've got shapes that are cutting stuff out, uh, which is all of these garbage mats here. So what I'm going to do here is just take all of these garbage ones, uh, cut them from the original uh, Mocha shape layer here, come into our hair mat layer. Let's just uh, add this to the solo group and paste that in there. So, in fact, let's just solo that out so you can see what's going on a bit easier. So, now what, what's happening is uh, these shapes are just coming in and adding into the uh, to our layer. Uh, we've got this set to add, so that's, that's perfectly natural that that's doing that. So if we set it to subtract instead, so the shapes have taken on the blend modes from the from the Mocha application. So we set these to subtract here, and this now chops out that garbage that was in the middle of these arms. Great. So let's come back to our uh, Mocha Shape layer here and turn that back on and we see that most of this stuff just disappears. So let's open this up and see why that is. Well, at the moment it's doing a shape cutout here. The render type is a shape cutout, which basically means that it's cutting out the shape from, from the layer. Uh, and we've got subtract here. So, uh, so it's just subtracting from the original layer. Well, we don't want that uh, in this case. Uh, what we actually want is it uh, to render a color composite. So turn this hair mat back on here. And what the color composite does is it takes this shape color and composites it over the layer. So the shape color is white. My background layer is white. This is not good. So if I turn this to black instead, we can see I've now got my Roto shape layers all coming in. Bit of a Venus de Milo going in there. Um, so now I want to blend my Mocha shape layer with my hair mat layer. And that's just a simple case of coming in, 
using a uh, dark and blend mode. That'll work out quite nicely. And step through and just see what's going on. Well, I can see actually here I've got a bit of a uh, bit of a gap in my t-shirt layer. You see that layer just just there isn't isn't working out quite as I expected it to. So let's pop back into Mocha. And we're just going to look at the t-shirt layer. And you can see here, very, very clearly, just uh, zoom in a little bit, very, very clearly that, that yep, yeah, actually, we're not covering in or patching in over those, uh, those gaps that we need to. So let's come into our t-shirt here, and we'll just quickly patch that up. Right, so if I'm happy with that. Just come over to my t-shirt, export out that shape data, just my selected layer now, copy that back to the clipboard, into After Effects, frame zero, paste that back in. We've now got a new t-shirt mat here, set to cape, uh, shape cutout, we'll turn that back to the color composite like all the others are. In fact, just for the sake of order, We'll take out the old old one there. And so just we've repatched that now very, very quickly. I'd probably do with just coming in and uh, and change that whole shape, but that will be for uh, another time. So we've got our two layers here that comprise the the bulk of our of our icon mat now. Um, this jeans mat here, which we didn't really use in the end. I can just delete, which I will. Now I'm going to just pre-compose these two layers together. Uh, and call this girl uh, track mat. Now I need to set my track mat. And because it's black on white rather than white on black, I'm going to come over, set it to Luma inverted. And there is the Roto girl. So let's just see, just duplicate that up. Just see what we can do with this. Let's just come in and throw a quick um, quick effect over. And let's just use a uh, film wash here. Let's go for a, what should we go for? Go for a Kodachrome one in the background. And with the girl just completely separated out, we'll just bump her levels up a little bit the contrast up there cool okay well um well i hope that you found that useful i mean what what we did is looked at how we could just make a uh, quick uh, procedural map using the uh, calculations and the uh, and the levels there just to uh, to to help us through some of the some of the roto stuff there take that layer mask in to Mocha itself to uh, to help us around to speed things up. Uh, of course, we did the uh, the tracking and the roto straight within Mocha. Then take those shape layers out without rendering, back into After Effects, and just composite it all together to get a really nice combination of matte and roto shape to create our final roto girl. My name's Ben from Curious Turtle. Check out my other Mocha tutorials and I'll see you soon.